This is an impressive place. I almost didn't come out here. Uh, it was an hour out of my way. So I've come up here to the Alabama Hills, which is just below Mount Whitney. Which you can kind of just barely see behind me there. The light is not as good as it could be. But uh, this is an impressive place. I almost didn't come out here. Uh, it was an hour out of my way. Uh, but I figured, you know, I'm on vacation. So I really should try to uh, get as much in as I could. And boy, am I glad I came up here. Uh, this is just spectacular. Uh, but I did oversleep a little bit. I think it's just after 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I did make some coffee here, obviously. You know me. And I think I'll make some pancakes in a minute. But I thought I would uh, check outside and see what it looks like outside. So let's, let's look and see where we parked up for the night. Not a bad place to wake up to in the morning, is it? In case you wanted to know, here up in the Alabama Hills, which is a BLM land, as you can see here on this little sign, you can uh, hike, you can bring your horse, you can bring your bike, you can bring your motorbike, just don't bring your ATV. Good to know. So I'm just hiking around my backyard here, and uh, for a minute there I was just wondering if anybody actually brought horses up here. Well, there's my answer. Apparently they did bring their horses up here. Uh, lately I've been kind of feeling like I've been uh, not really using my camper van to its fullest potential. Uh, you know, I, I really fully agree that there should be more of us that uh, live in a camper van that just do the 9 to 5 thing. But, um, you know, even still, I, I've got a camper van. I should be getting out and... Uh, camping with it, doing things like I've been doing this, this you know, these last few days. Um, and coming out to a place like this, which wasn't exactly on my plan, uh, I was going to be in this area, but not uh, exactly here necessarily. Uh, I sure I'm glad that I made it out here because uh, I just can't even begin to describe uh, just how awesome and beautiful it is out here. This is a Saturday evening, so my time is kind of winding down here, so I'll probably start heading back to the city um, first thing in the morning, or, you know, late morning or early afternoon. Um, gonna be a little bit hard to leave here. All right, so it's uh, about 7.30 Sunday morning. I thought instead of me making coffee this morning, I would uh, go down to the little town of Lone Pine, which is just at the base of the hill here. Uh, there was a little coffee shop that looked promising. So I'll have them make me my coffee this morning, and that way I can uh, get a little cell service, since there's no cell service up here, uh, and then just check uh, road closures and weather conditions just to see how long of a drive I've got home. Uh, so that is the plan. And really hard to leave here. Really hard to leave. But here we go.
All right, so I made it back down here to uh, Gotham City. Uh, but it's not all too bad because uh, the perks of being in the city are one, I can go to the gym and take a shower, which has been a few days. I probably stink. I don't know. I haven't been around anybody long enough for them to tell me that I do, but I should probably shower anyway. And also, I think I will head over to Trader Joe's because it's been a few days since I've been at Trader Joe's as well. So, uh, going through a little bit of withdrawal. Any Anybody that doesn't shop at Trader Joe's or doesn't have one in their area, you have no idea what you're missing. Uh, anyway, um, I did manage to get a couple of things done yesterday. I flipped the shelf around. So, I used to have the shelf so that this, uh, this piece was was down so that I could hang towels uh, off of it, but um, I don't really hang towels off of it. Uh, when I drive, sometimes stuff falls out. Uh, and I realize too, I can still hang stuff uh, off of it, towels or anything, just uh, up through this, this way and down. So still usable, but uh, it's probably more usable the way it is here. Uh, sorry I didn't film anything between the mountains and uh, coming back down here to the city, but um, not a whole lot to film uh, on 395. Uh, basically, 395 going north of Olancha is very pretty. Uh, I was going south, and there's not much to look at. So uh, that's about the end of my vacation here, but I do have a few things I got to get done, so I will uh, just take the rest of the day and like I said, go to Trader Joe's and uh, get prepped up for work starting tomorrow. Ugh, back to work starting tomorrow. Anyway, great vacation, and uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the little bit that I have uh, shot and uh, put together for you. Uh, just goes to show you, you got to get out and uh, see what's in your backyard.